Hello and welcome to my Ride L120 boots and roller skates with uh, Powerdyne Reactor Neo plates, radar energy wheels, they're 80, uh, 78A, um, very soft, and bearings, Zenith. Zenith bearings, ABEC 9. I have to say, this is one month review. Had them now for a month, thought I'd try them out. Give this, because I haven't found anything on YouTube whatsoever in relation to the Ryder 120 boots. When I was looking for them, uh, looking into them to buy them. Very comfortable. I've gone from the old Bow Turbos, which are plastic boot, which is a flat sole to a heel and I thought I was a bit hmm how's that going to be so that was okay not too bad don't actually notice it too much however just you know very similar skating I've got a nice wide one because I've got wide feet a bit of road rash there we go see this you can probably see it I've polished it up a little bit a little bit of wear on the nose This actual boot is quite comfortable, very, very comfortable inside. Show you this one first because the other one's been modified a little bit. Um, very soft, foam tongue. It does pick up debris. I'm not sure how long that's going to last. We'll see. It does bring that up to the camera a bit. Fray a little. Anyway, nice and padded inside, as you can see. This is all padded inside here, which is something I was trying to find out what they like inside. They look very hard and leathery on the outside, which they are. It's quite, it's quite stiff, very stiff here. You can't move this at all. This is very solid, hard. This is a lot softer as it gets up. It is stiffened in the heel. Also, the backs also nice and stiff. Also the inner sole here, this whole edge inside of your foot as well, very well supported. Um, not too heavy. I do notice a little bit more increase in weight, especially down the centre here, down the bottom. I think that's in combination with the weight of the boots, the aluminium plates and trucks and the wheels, because wheels actually, be surprised how much a wheel weighs. Um, not sure of the specifications, you can have a look, maybe I'll put a, li a link in the description to the Radar Energy website so you can check it out for yourself. Or the Radar Wheels website I should say, these are just the energy version. I've got a flying version. Courtesy of our friends at Ginger Skates, they got these boots, they have these boots in stock, I wasn't able to get any, I ended up buying separate boots, um, plate separately from Germany. The wheels from Ginger Skates, the bearings from Germany. Um, and that's simply because I was a little bit impatient and I wanted to get a pair of skates together quickly. And Rydell were very, very busy with making skates for other people. And it was going to take six to eight weeks. So I managed to get these in two weeks. I did get the plates mounted separately. But they were done at the Derby Skate Shop in Amsterdam. Thank you very much. Um, I also got a few extra bits in them as well. Yeah, got these inner soles. Basically because the inner sole on the Rydell, I have to say, is very, very thin. I don't know if you can see that. It looks to be about a millimetre and a half thick. I could measure it. I don't have my multimeter at the moment. Multi tool. But I got these um, recently. It's basically because I could actually, if you can look down the side there, you can see where the screws are. I can actually start feeling the hardness of the inner screws on the ball of my feet um, just because I've got very, the way I stand seems to be a very, as you can see, there's an imprint on there. I could actually feel that, start to feel that a little bit. So I thought, ah, I'll get some padded ones. These are nice, as you can see, nice and thick at the toe here, so there's a nice bit of support. That's got an extra bit of arch for your foot support there. 
also at the back of your heel which is I'm also very heavy on my heel so these are good don't I can feel that it does make your foot a little bit tighter in the boot slightly I did notice it but I because these are leather luckily they will stretch um, or wear thinner socks that was what I've been doing recently these are from also Derby Skate Shop and they're by brand Burma Classics Comfort Super Support or Super Sport that should be a super support sport, shouldn't it? Not too bad. Anyway, back to the boots and skates. <sighs> Padded nicely inside, like I was saying. All round, inside. You can probably see it slightly. They are made in Thai, um, Thailand, these versions. Not in the States, even though they are patented. And I think all the bits are sent to Thailand to be put together. But um, they're still quite good, they're not as, you know, as expensive as the rest of the boots, they, although they were um, a fair enough price as they were. Other parts of the review, what else did I think about these? Boots, comfortable, well worth the money. Um, durability, outside leather, don't like the streets very well, <laughs> especially when you're grinding. Um, few knocks and bangs so I'm used to using plastic boots so I'm not so you know the old Bauer turbos 33s um, very very solid however after so many years they fall apart and I mean that literally I'll stick some pictures up here for you to see you can see the old boots what happened to them old Fairfax plates I wanted a new experience so got new boots new trucks new wheels new bearings new back uh, base plate Sure grip, toe stops, not quite sure about these at the moment, they're all right, they're all right. I'm not sure whether this could be a combination of me putting my foot down too much or I'm used to my stopper sticking out slightly from the boot. As this one doesn't, it's actually flush. See that? My boots, the stoppers used to be like that, so I'm a bit kind of toe heavy, I think, sometimes. Mainly when I'm uh, bashing up curbs and stuff like that. 120 boot. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mumble jumble. I'm gonna drink my cup of tea. Thanks to Ginger Skates again. Derby Shop for the mounting of the plates. Derby Shop Amsterdam. And Skate Shop in Germany, which I'm not gonna mention. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.